defenders. See, you probably you'll probably see Ralph containing more. Uh, you should get Cynical to co-commentate with you again, because he, like, talked a lot about me and inflated my, like, talked about how good my stats were, so that felt good. You should get him to co-commentate again. I mean, I messaged him on Reddit. I don't know <laughs> if I did it in time, but, yeah. Uh, you should get... All right, uh, I'll go ahead and get started here. Uh, so if anyone's out there already tuned in, I appreciate you joining the stream. Tonight we've got the Little Murballs sitting with two wins and four losses at fourth in the conference, the Western Conference, uh, facing off against uh, Tears, a.k.a. Roland or Zabals, who are sitting right now at tied for the fifth spot in the conference uh, with one win and five losses. But still... A lot of games to be played, um, both teams fighting for a playoff spot uh, at the end of the season, and uh, we should see plenty of action here tonight. And uh, if you've watched the past couple of streams, these past two weeks or so, um, you will know that Dude McGuy and Eldon have pretty much solidified the defensive lineup here for the Little Murballs, um, while recently Poppy and PK Subal have been the go-to offensive pair for the Murballs as well. Um, so it should be a more solidified lineup this week uh, as they get more chemistry going. Uh, going against a pretty solid Orza Balls team with um, a couple key names to keep in mind. Uh, and he capped Genesis on D, Ralph Wiggum, and Hammer Time. All uh, very solid players in their own right. And it looks like we're about to get things started here, so we'll switch right over to the... Uh, map right when it comes up. All right, so we've got the little mer balls on red to start off, and the rolling orza balls on blue. Three. Two, one. And we are underway. Andy Cap's going to get the first grab of the game, and actually he's going to find himself past two almost immediately here. Looking to take the boost off of the wall there, but now PK going to take advantage of some positioning, looking for that bomb top. Dude, guy does have the block on hammer time. Oh, Hammer Time does a nice job on OD to uh, avoid that cap there. 
Andy Cap with a nice move of his own on the corner wall, making his way out of base while Poppy uh, sits on that boost waiting for an opportunity. He'll get popped by Genesis. Andy Cap doing a nice job of holding him base, but Dude McGuy tracks him down. Poppy goes for the quick reset, does get it. Dude McGuy could find himself out past a couple, but nice uh, defensive holding there from Ralph Wiggum to prevent that button. To prevent that button. Crab pizza is the pizza for you and me. <laughs> Thanks, Milk. <laughs> First round of puffs going uh, up here as looks like Orza Ball's got the advantage with two juke juices and Poppy picks one up of his own. Andy Cap looking to use that bomb to get a grab off here. And Hammer Time will be able to use the bump and just looking to way looking to make his way out of base. Uh, avoids Dude McGuy on the boost as Poppy makes a nice move of his own, although it does get sniped, and Hammer Time's gonna go for that kiss. So another reset for both teams here, and it's back square. And a quick grab from Andy Capped, using those portals to his advantage. And doesn't really need the bomb, so he's looking to make a split, but can't quite get around them. Some nice contain there from Dude McGuy and Elton. Now PK is going to get her grab off. He's got everyone in front of him right now, but does take a nice boost through the gate, and is going to be past a couple, but Genesis does a nice job of getting in position for that return. Poppy making his way around a couple of defenders, and now looking to get some blocks here. Might have rushed it a bit there, and it will cost him that uh, potential cap. And with the tag pro in base, he does manage to uh, get rid of one. Or tried to get rid of one, I'm not sure if he actually did. And Poppy with a nice grab, picking up uh, where he left off with the boost, and now is going to be past a couple here, but Handicap does the same, managing to get out of base. And now Handicap finds himself past three here. Eldon will drop down to Re. PK is past three as well, but uh, quick coverage there from the, def the Orza Ball's defense. Now the round of pups coming up. Another round for Orza Balls. Genesis does have a rolling bomb here. And he's going to be past three as a couple of defenders are out of position. Eldon, the only one there, can't get quite a round, and Genesis is going to get the first cap of the game. Orza Balls take a one to nothing lead here on Transilio. And Poppy with a nice grab, but he heads directly into the gate. I'm not sure if he expected to take the boost there or not. Eldon makes a nice boost of her own. She is past two here. Can they set up the blocks? It looks like they have some nice blocks up set up, but uh, Dude McGuy can't quite run down Genesis. And now Genesis is actually going to be out from the gate here. He's past everyone other than Poppy and will take the kiss. And nice job by Genesis. And then gets the return on Eldon with the spawn. Excellent spawn there. Uh, PK going to make his way out top, pass two. Has the boost and the blocks. Oh, again, another rushed opportunity there, there for the Murballs. Going to cost them a cap with power-up spawning. And two tag pros for Orba Orza Balls here as Hammer Time looks to make his way out of base and then is killed by Handicap, and Poppy's going to sneak in for the cap as they <laughs> spiked on the gate. What an incredible turn of events that was. And now Genesis is going to find her way past, uh, but then gets run down. Hammer Time looking to make some moves past Eldon. Does a nice job of just patiently waiting here. Doesn't want to force anything with four in front. Now we'll be run down by Dude. Might set up Dude McGuy for the return here, but handicapped. Uses the bomb to his advantage, and then a nice corner roll as he tries to make his way out of base. And he will be past a couple here, although blocks aren't quite nearly ready. He will bomb back into base to buy some time as pups are spawning. And he will grab a rolling bomb. Nice call out there from Hammer Time to let him know. Dude McGuy does pick up a tag pro, so this should be an out for Murballs. And it is. Handicapped to dancing around in base with that rolling bomb as... Uh, the Orza Balls try and get a return for Cap, but uh, Eldon quickly recovers. 
and gets the return. So PK now with t only two ahead of him. Dude Magai pushing back for that return. And a nice snipe from Elden has a chance to get the return and a nice cap as Dude Magai gets the excellent snipe in base and the Murballs take a 2-1 to one lead. Milk Steak wants, wants me to let you viewers know that Elden is a girl for some reason. Uh, as Dude Magai gets the return. Uh, Dude gets the return. And he capped, runs into Elden there. Couple of grabs here. Poppy gonna make his way past three with some nice moves of his own. Genesis trying to hold on to the flag. It is still return for Cat for just a couple seconds here. Poppy with a nice portal. Elden gets the return. Hammer time and base will make his way out past three. And power up's gonna go to the Murballs here as PK grabs with that tag pro. Dude McGuire gonna sit on that regrab with the rolling bomb, but it will be defused. So now PK trying to make uh, something happen here as Elden giving chase to and he capped. Some nice chasing going on here. Good flag carrying as well. Dude guy just misses the uh, return there. Andy capped. Finally gets uh, corralled by Elden and Dude guy And a couple quick returns. Puts Poppy in position to be passed to here. Uh, not quite set up on the blocks just yet. Although Genesis almost put herself out of position. Uh, but a quick return there on Poppy will uh, halt that offensive play. Now PK doing some dancing in base, but we'll get returned from hammer time. A grab by Poppy here, but Genesis runs him down. Runs him down. Handicapped is going to pick up a tag pro, but Murballs do have one on defense, so it'll be interesting, defense, to, see it'll be interesting to see how this goes. And two quick returns for Orza Balls. It looks like both teams are reset. Handicap does get a, another grab. Again uses that portal. That's that's a, probably the third time that he's used that portal to get out of base here. And he is past two, but Poppy in nice position there to get the return and the reset for the Murps. Now PK... Uh, Unfortunately, with the flaccid grab, Poppy can't quite use the bomb and a nice gate from Genesis, but uh, another reset for the Murballs. Murballs doing a nice job of getting resets uh, when they need them the most. They were caught out of position there for just a second. Now Poppy looking to find himself past two as uh, power-ups were spawning, and Ralph sneaking by Dude McGuy with the portal there. Oh, and a quick spike by Poppy puts Ralph past two. And PK is going to pick up that Juke Juice with the Rolling Bomb already. So Murballs are still safe here. Takes a nice boost in. This could be a return for Cap Scenario for just a second. Dude, my guy can't run down Ralph Wiggum. Some nice flag carrying. Elden going to take that flag up top. And is going to be past three after a miss boost by uh, Hammer Time. Handicapped. Reluctant to get off that flag tile, understandably. Elden makes some nice moves. But uh, Ralph Wiggum doing a nice job carrying the flag. Commentator's curse right there as Dude McGuy gets the return. There's going to be a quick kiss there. This could be good for Murballs as they do get a reset. And now PK is going to find himself past a couple. Handicap looking to use that bomb and will get the return there for setting up his teammates. Now Poppy patiently waiting for his re-grab and does take a nice boost off the wall. Might kiss Genesis here and he does. Ralph Wiggum looking to head bottom. He's going to be past uh, at least Poppy here. Eldon doing a nice job staying ahead as Dude McGuy gets a grab. And a quick return from Andy Capped. And a tag pro. Big tag pro here for the Orza Balls as two are in base for the Mer Balls. Ralph Wiggum doing his best to stay away from the defenders but just gets returned. Hammer time now coming in. But a quick return from Poppy. A lot of clutch returns there from Poppy in mid uh, so far this game. Wow, what a play. <laughs> Genesis tries to make her way past Poppy, but again, Poppy's there to clean it up. So down to the last 10 seconds here. Let's see if any team can get a quick grab and out. PK trying to make something happen. He's going to have to go for the bomb, if anything, here. I don't think he has enough time, and he does not. So that will end the first half. An exciting first half, uh, lots of uh, play. Um, looks like Genesis and Dumagai each had 14 returns apiece, so excellent play defensively, as well as some nice holding there from the offensive uh, sets of Murballs and Orza Balls. Poppy is popping off, isn't he, BDL? <laughs> 
Yes, Poppy is popping off uh, their milksteak. I would agree with that statement. Centralock. BDL is a pussy boy. <laughs> Thanks, Milk. JK. I appreciate that, man. That means a lot. BDL has an infected anus. So it looks like the Murballs are ready here for the second half on Transilia. We're just waiting for the ready from uh, Orza Balls. And it looks like Time Boy is going to s maybe send himself in uh, as a sub. He looks like he's asking for one or two minutes still, so a little bit of time left before the second half here on Transilio. Some say BDL is toxic. <laughs> uh, those rumors are actually not true, so what can what can I do? Unlucky. <laughs> Unlucky indeed. All right, looks like both teams are ready. Time Boy again is subbing in here, and it looks like he'll be subbing in for uh, anti capped. So a little bit of a lineup switch. While Murballs will stay the stay the same. All right, we're getting uh, launched here, so. Just a couple of seconds before the action of half two begins. Hey BDL, who do you have as the MVP so far? JK, no one cares what you think. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Art. All right, so half two seconds away from being underway here. We have Murballs on blue and Orza Balls on red. Murballs retaining a two to one lead here to start. Quick spike there from Hammer Time. Time Boy will get the first grab, but it is a flaccid Poppy trying to make something happen here. Trying to pick up a block from PK, using the walls to his advantage. Now maybe looking for that boost, although Ralph does a nice job of running that down. PK with a nice move past Genesis. Going to be out past two here. Time Boy is going to get blocked. They have some nice blocks, but a quick grab there saves the cap. Big play from Ralph Wiggum. Big play from yeah, Ralph why Wiggum. So lucky? What? <laughs> a Sentra's lucky forehead. So uh, first round of puffs about to be coming up here. Should be seeing some offenders uh, head towards that mid pup. Yep. Poppy makes a grab, but just misses the boost. PK looks like he has the edge on that ju uh, juke juice, and he does. Ralph with a quick uh, use of that rolling bomb. Elden did pick up a tag pro. Time boy gonna get returned. PK does have a juke juice, so it's not impossible to get out past uh, quite a few here if he picks up a block from Poppy potentially. Oh, but a nice return from Genesis. Poppy looking to make his way in a nice snipe from Genesis. Very nice snipe to get that return and reset here. And now Orza Balls almost find themselves out, but a quick gate there from Murballs will uh, delay any offensive plays. A 
couple of flashes here as Time Boy is going to make his way past potentially two here. Dude McGuy runs him down and Poppy, oh, just narrowly hitting the spike. PK is going to be past two here though with the setup from Poppy. And a nice bomb down in, but Hammer Time there on the offensive D to get the return. Now Hammer Time finding his way past a couple here. Eldon does a nice job of getting ahead. He will settle for that mid pup though. That's a That's a win for sure as Genesis makes her way past one. They do have some nice blocks set up. All she has to do is, uh, looks like beat Dude McGuy. A nice boost, but Eldon there to clean it up. Time Boy, gonna take the re-grab. Take the re -grab. Gonna be a little bit patient here. Probably the right move. Oh, but a nice snipe from Dude McGuy to run into that boost. Hammer time. Heading out bottom, forces Eldon to use the boost. They have, uh, some blocks set up, but, uh, Eldon is able to get the rundown. So a lot more aggressive here for the Orza Balls this half. The Orza Balls this half. Quick grab from PK. Gonna see him uh, not quite see be him, out, but uh, not quite be Genesis out, but... with a nice return. Hammer time. Picking up a tag probe mid here. Tag probe mid here. Time Boy looking to make his way past Eldon. Oh, nice return from Eldon as Hammer Time couldn't quite get the tag there. Tag there. PK with a, a grab and a nice split, but we'll get run down. Although it is going to set up Poppy with a nice out here. Genesis doing a nice job of containing, although a nice move on the wall by Poppy. Ralph with a nice grab here, though Poppy's going to stay back and get that return. Poppy with the uh, flag makes a nice corner roll. Can he get past Ralph Wiggum? He does, although Hammer Time looks like he's going to be out. A quick return from Dude McGuy as he gets bumped, and it's a cap for the little Murballs. What a play! And Time Boy gonna find himself past everyone here with a quick uh, cap of his own as uh, the lead is cut down to 2 to 1 this half. Poppy finding himself out past 3. They have some blocks set up, but Hammer Time rolls off those for a quick return. And PK forcing the spike there. Now trying to get around Genesis here. The blocks aren't quite there. Time Boy with a miss snipe, but doesn't end up mattering. Now Genesis tracking back. P Poppy narrowly avoiding uh, Genesis there. Gonna try and make his way out, but a nice track down from Genesis. She's playing extremely well this half. Murballs are having trouble getting past her. Murballs are having trouble getting past her. PK with a nice grab. Gonna be past two here with that juke juice. Genesis closing in though. Forces him to spike. Good contain from Genesis. Poppy likely gonna take this top, I would imagine. And he does, and he is gonna be past two. They have some odd blocks set up as Dude McGuy looked to defuse that bomb. Probably the safer play. And PK gonna sneak past Genesis here. Gonna be ahead of two. Now they've got some interesting blocks set up once more. Eldon with a nice return. And they could get the cap here. PK just can't sneak it in as Time Boy gets the grab. Now Poppy past three. PK gets the button. He's only got one to beat. He's getting tracked down by Genesis. What an offensive D play from Genesis to get the return and the reset. Power-ups are spawning here now. Poppy's going to pick up a rolling bomb as PK looks to make his way out of base. And he's going to find himself past a couple here, but Ralph was going to get the gate. Now Poppy with the rolling bomb past Genesis here. They've got the block starting to set up. Oh, and a quick double tap by Ralph Wiggum as Poppy may have forced that one a little bit early there. And now Time Boy is going to find himself past three. A nice move from PK to avoid that return for cap scenario. Coming into cap now himself as Genesis looks like she might drop for that re-grab. 
Although she does take the snipe out, playing a bit aggressive now as they are down a couple of caps here. Eldon trying to close in on Hammer Time. Hammer Time still with three ahead of him, trying to make some moves. It's going to go around top, but Eldon's there to get the return. Dude, my guy, going to get a quick grab of his own. He is going to be past a couple here. PK alone in base right now. They might want to wait for pumps here, as he does pick up that Juke Juice. Genesis going to make her way out of base. Uh, Dude, my guy, uh, going to get returned from Hammer Time. As Eldon makes a... a, a, a Spike there, that was unfortunate, but PK's there. And now a quick block from Eldon will get Poppy in for the cap, and that extends the Murball's lead here on Transilio. Quick turn of events there. PK using that portal well. Poppy, can he get the block on the gate? He does. Now PK pass three. They've got the blocks on Ralph Wiggum. It's going to be a cap for the Murballs. The train keeps on going as Poppy making his way past two, and uh, it's going to be slowed down. Nice OD from Ralph Wiggum. And he'll get returned. Genesis did leave the red team, so they are playing down a man as Officer Dan steps in. Murball's trying to take advantage here. PK already passed two, but Time Boy making his way out of base. Gonna be past a couple of his own. Well, I am a BDL fangirl. I love the stream. My tits for you. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Asdif. Thanks for the shout out. Uh, PK. <laughs> Making his way back out of base as Time Boy still doing a nice job of holding that flag. Hammer Time's gonna pick up that Juke Juice mid. Time Boy gonna get returned from Dude McGuy. Poppy now looking to make his way out, but a nice return from Officer Dan. And now Ralph finds himself past three. Can they get the block on Dude McGuy? A quick pull and a nice bomb from Dude McGuy's gonna see him out of base. Uh, Ralph uh, just going around mid. A quick return from Hammer Time there. And now Time Boy looking to make some magic here for the Orza Balls who are down. Perhaps an insurmountable lead at this point with just over a minute remaining uh, as PK just doing some holding here. Dude, my guy looks to be, uh, was sitting around top there for a minute. It looked like he may have lagged out for a second, but uh, does hit a nice snipe right afterwards, so he's probably fine now. Uh, Eldon trying to close in on Ralph Wiggum, but a nice uh, carry of the flag, but runs into his uh, own offenders or teammates there. Poppy with a quick uh, use of the wall. Still going to make some rounds here as Time Boy slips out of base. Time quickly running out for Orza Balls here. You have to imagine that this game's pretty much over as <laughs> and makes a nice snipe there from Dude McGuy. Poppy with that rolling bomb and a chance to cap. All they need is a couple more returns. Poppy hitting that bomb but not going to be in time as Time Boy now past a couple waiting for that boost. And he'll take the kiss. He'll settle for that kiss as it sets up hammer time nicely here. He's going to be past two. He's taking his time in mid. They do have some nice blocks set up, although they gave up there on Eldon. So that's going to result in a return. And that's a reset for both squads. So that should just about do it here on Transilio for game one. Murball is taking the 6-2, uh, I believe, 3 lead? Or 6-2? Yeah, that's going to be a 6-2 win for the Murballs here on Transilio. So a big win there for Murballs. Uh, PK Subal with two caps as well as Poppy. And another 20 return uh, performance there from Dude McGuy. Really well done from the Little Murballs overall. And uh, uh, 17 returns from Eldon as well. So strong performance. And I'm sure they're looking I'm to right. do the same on Jardine. Wow, BDL. Two great squads going head-to-head -to -head tonight. Am I right? That's toxic. Hey, man. I mean, Orza Balls has a, a pretty solid lineup, so... I think that uh, they just had some unfortunate situations. Um, and Murballs were able to capitalize on them. That's all I'll say. You are a pussy.
so it looks like the Orza Balls are going to make uh, another lineup change here. This is pretty common, I think, uh, of the Orza Balls. I streamed them last week, I believe. Um, and it looks like Hard Gay and uh, Mayonnaise, who is Gramps, and I will be referring to him as Gramps during the game, uh, are going to sub it in for Ralph Wiggum and Officer Dan. So, uh, yeah, and Hammer Time, I guess, technically. So it'll be a lineup of Time Boy, uh, Hard Gay, Mayonnaise, a.k.a. Gramps, and Genesis, while the Murballs will stay the same here for the first half of Jardine, the uh, newest map to the MLTP rotation. Very curious to see how Hard Gay performs. Hey BDL, I need to pick my ointment up after the game. Keep this on the download though. I don't want anyone knowing I need but cream. <laughs> Thanks, Dodsfall. Uh, Poppy coming into base here as Gramps makes his way out. And actually is going to be past a couple here as PK uh, waits for a re-grab to be set up. And Gramps uh, doing a nice job of holding here early on. And some... Uh, Interesting containing here from Murballs as Poppy looks at swing around Time Boy and he does with a nice move on the outside. Uh, dangerous boost there from Poppy, but does get around the defenders once again. Gramps doing a good job of holding here in base, although Elden will track him down. This could be an opportunity for Murballs if they can get a quick return on Hard Gay, although a quick spike from Poppy as he overcommitted on that on those team tiles there. Oh, almost a dangerous situation for Murballs with the bomb. First round of power-ups. Uh, looks power like it will be split. And Gramps going to make his way past three with that rolling bomb. Zuma guy going for a quick snipe and not going to happen. Elden does have a tag pro lead in base, doing some nice uh, work with the flag, but will get returned. Now PK will go after Gramps here. Uh, nice anti there from Hard Gay to get a reset. Genesis looking to make her way out. Uh, Elden going to try and track her down. Hard Gay with the quick team kill. Unfortunate play there as Poppy makes that bomb. Looks for the kiss. Does get it, but it does set up Gramps with an uh, opportunity, although it is biffed. So Dude Mackay gets the return, and it looks like both teams are going to be reset here. Hard Gay going to make a quick grab. He has a chance to be past a couple, but a nice snipe from Dude McGuy. Very uh, patient on that boost. And uh, some a lot of action here so far as Gramps makes his way out. Poppy's going to pick up a rolling bomb, so this could be potentially a return for Cap Scenario. Just can't quite get there. Uh, wasn't on the flag tiles. They get the return. Now, PK making his way out of base. And Poppy gets the return, and a quick return for Cap as PK Subal gets the first Cap for the Murballs. Now, Eldon looking to add to the lead, but can't quite split the defenders there. Time Boy making his way out of base now. And uh, now going to be heading the other side, but Hard Gay will get the rundown. And PK has a chance to be past three. Avoids that bomb. Very smart flag carrying there. Dude McGuire, the only defender in base, though. And Time Boy will get that return. Uh, Poppy looking to, think, looking to keep things going here as uh, Gramps spikes himself. And another spike there. He's only got two to beat. He's got the block set up. Very nice boost on the outside corner. And that will result in another cap as Murballs take a 2 to nothing lead uh, with a kiss there from Time Boy and PK Subal. Now a quick rolling bomb for Genesis. Elden gets the Juju -ju and will take the kiss there as PK can't quite close in on Time Boy. Uh, and no grabs here from Murballs as the defense is, closes in on Time Boy there. Now Gramps making a nice boost across the map, but he does have defenders all in front of him, so a tough go of it there. And a nice solo return from Dude McGuire there, uh, anticipating the bomb, 
and uh, it will result in a reset for both teams. Uh, Gramps gonna get a quick flaccid off there. Dude McGuy closing in on hard gay and gets the return. Another nice reset for the little merballs. Time Boy and Genesis doing a good job of uh, closing off any offensive attempts as they get a reset of their own. Power up spawning here. Dude McGuy gonna use that bomb to give PK an advantage, but Hardgay will get the tank pro. It looks like both teams are gonna end up with tank pros here. Poppy makes a nice boost for the grab and is going to be past three. He's got the blocks. It's going to be an easy cap for Poppy as the Murballs add to their lead, taking a, a three to nothing advantage over the Orza Balls here. Really nice boost from Poppy to, to give them that edge. Nice cap, Poppy. I just came. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Poppy going to make his way past one. Coming on the outside right, uh, although Gramps with a nice boost is going to boost directly into that flag. And now the Orza Balls with a chance to keep their momentum alive here with a quick cap. And Time Boy looking to take the boost just uh, gets returned by Poppy, though. Gramps uh, starting to feel it a little bit, looking to make his way past Dude McGuy. Picks up a nice block from Genesis, has the bomb to work with, but a nice return from Poppy. And a good anti there from PK Subal to stave off uh, any attack. Attack anti jack off in the move. <laughs> uh, hard game's gonna pick up a tag pro as tag Gramps, pro will, pick as Gramps will pick up the juice. juice. Poppy makes a grab past three so and is gonna be. Past three and is gonna be. I'm sorry, Milk, did you say something about jacking off? A quick grab from Eldon's gonna prevent that cap there from Orza Balls, uh, but a lot of action going on here. Genesis is gonna s end up sneaking in as Eldon tries to make her way past to get a revenge cap of her own. A nice night from Genesis and a nice quick, reset, Genesis from and a quick reset from Orza Balls. reset from Orza Balls. Gramps making his way past a couple here. He's going to backtrack a little bit as uh, Pups are actually about to spawn soon and they are playing that anti-re. And that's going to be a cap for Orza Balls as Gramps is going to pick up a tag pro. So now only a 4-3 to three lead here for Murballs as uh, Orza Balls are really taking advantage here of some uh, poor positioning here. And now Gramps is going to boost in for that fourth cap to tie the game and Hardye looking to come in and take perhaps take the lead here. Poppy looking to make his way out of base uh, with the juke juice, but nothing doing. And it looks like that'll finally stop the uh, the cap train there for the Orza Balls. Uh, Eldon looking to make her way out. Uh, we'll set up PK with a nice opportunity here. He has a boost, although he does have four in front of him. We'll wait for that re-grab. Good positioning from Genesis. Sitting on that bomb. Just going to miss, though. Poppy taking that bomb all the way to the left side, and uh, good awareness to avoid that return from Genesis. Now Poppy looking to make his way past Time Boy, trying to make it past Genesis. He's looking for that boost potentially here as Hard Game makes a quick grab, and a missed uh, snipe there from Dude McGuy, unfortunate, as he's going to make his way past as well. PK Subal will pick up that uh, re grab. As Eldon gets the return. Poppy with a nice anti. Has a chance to cap here. PK. Oh, just running into Gramps. Excellent positioning there from Gramps to get that cap. They have the block set up, though. Dude McGuy going to roll in for that cap. Excellent play there from Dude McGuy uh, to set up that play. Now Gramps going to get the return uh, Get return there as Hard Gay is waiting ready for that re-grab. And now uh, looking to make his way past a couple, although Eldon does a nice job of containing. Gramps both and... Uh, making his way out. Now takes a nice boost, but Eldon there for the grab. Uh, Genesis with a quick return, but PK is going to find himself out past a couple here, so Gramps will have to backtrack. And now Poppy uh, looking to avoid Genesis here as PK Subal running down hard gay. And a nice boost there. Uh, Murball's off of re-grab here. Very dangerous situation, uh, but they will avoid any caps there, so as Dude McGuy picks up that rolling bomb from right, and he'll get the grab. He's going to be past two here. This could be a very nice situation for Murballs, although there looks like there's two playing anti. Uh, not sure that's what they wanted to do. A little bit of a miscommunication there from Murballs as 
Gramps still making his way around the bases. Uh, doing some nice moves on Eldon and PK Subal. Looks like he'll take that boost uh, directly back into the Dude McGuy, though. And a quick return there. Oh, clutch return there from Time Boy. Right in the right position at the right time. And now Time Boy looking to be out past three. Poppy trying to slow him down as best he can. He does a great job of containing for the Dude McGuy snipe. Now Gramps looking to keep this momentum going. Only down by a cap. Going around the bases, picking up some nice blocks, but Poppy with a clutch bomb to force the return into Eldon. And good anti from Dude McGuy with power up spawning here. And PK is going to get a grab off on his own. He could be past quite a few here. Dude McGuy with the tag pro. Oh, but he runs into Genesis. Unfortunate timing there as Poppy will pick up a rolling bomb uh, re grab. And he's got a few in front of him. And he somehow misses the flag. Oh, I can't believe it. Oh, wow. Dude McGuy with the tag pro base. Eldon just has to get that block, and she does get the return. PK Subo will add to the lead for the Murballs. A two cap advantage here with just seconds remaining in the first half on Jardine. Gramps looking to cut down that lead. Going to be past three here. Eldon closing in, and he gets the blocks. He makes it away around Eldon, but he can't finish. Oh, my goodness. What a play. Oh, exciting turn of events there as the Murballs look like they'll cling to this two-cap lead here on Jardim. Very high-scoring affair in the first half of this game. Uh, Dude McGuy again with 19 returns, uh, and it looks like Time Boy had 19 returns of his own. Uh, three caps for Poppy and Gramps uh, are the standouts there. Uh, Gramps with three minutes a hold, very impressive showing on both sides, so definitely exciting half uh, coming up here soon. As the uh, Murballs take that first half 6 to 4. I'll update the scoreboard here. Looks like um, both teams will keep the same lineup here for the second half on Jardim. Uh, very uh, even matched game there uh, in the first half with the Murballs again taking that first 6-4 uh, lead in the first half. Uh, definitely an exciting half coming up here on Ball Don't Lie TP TV. Dude, the guy getting carried as usual. Nice meme though. I'm kidding, you retard. <laughs> Toxic. <laughs> Thanks, uh, everybody, for tuning in who has so far. I appreciate all the viewers as well. Um, hope you're enjoying the game. We're a couple minutes away, I would assume, here, or a couple seconds away from getting this game launched. As It actually looks like uh, Tears may substitute Time Boy uh, for Officer Dan here. So Officer Dan hopping in for Time Boy. We'll see if that can make any impact on the score in the second half here for the Orza Balls looking for their first win of the night.
All right, looks like we're getting the second half underway here uh, as the second half between the Little Mer Balls and the Roland Orza Balls about to uh, start off here on Jardim. Uh, if, as you take a look at the scoreboard here, the Little Mer Balls taking that uh, first game on Transilio 6-2 with uh, the Mer Balls again taking the first half uh, on 6-4 here on Jardim. All right, so we've got the... Uh, Orza Balls on red and the Little Mer Balls on blue. Again, the Officer Dan sub for Time Boy. Three, the only change here. Two, one. And we are underway. Yeah! Quick grab there from Hard Gay will result in a flaccid. PK trying to get past Genesis, but a nice run down. Poppy is going to find himself past at least one here. Genesis with another return, though. And they should have the reset here as PK a little bit far away from the flag to keep things going. Very good defensive play here from both teams here early. Neither team able to get a grab without power up so far. Although, as I say that, Poppy making his way past two. He doesn't quite have the block set up, though, and he will get returned. PK sitting on that regrab with power up spawning. Uh, looks like Orza balls are in good position for these pups. PK making his way past three. He has the block uh, from Doom McGuy and a nice cap there as Murballs add to their lead. Officer Dan with attack pro, though. A return for cap scenario here. Officer Dan trying to run down Poppy. Poppy making his way. It's going to be a return for gap scenario for Murballs now. But Doom McGuy looks like he'll get off that re-grab. Uh, oh, and a miss, a miss bomb by uh, Gramps. But Poppy misses the boost. Don't think he expected Gramps to miss that bomb. Would have been a cap for the Murballs. But, whew, close call there for the uh, Orza Balls. So now PK Subal going to be taking that flag right with Gramps headed left for Orza Balls. And he could meet Dude McGuy here for a kiss, although it doesn't look like Dude McGuy wants that. So he'll head back the other way. And a uh, quick return there. Genesis trying to make her way out past a couple here. Eldon giving chase while PK um, going through the team tiles. Dude McGuy doing some nice holding here. Hits the corner but runs into Officer Dan. And now Genesis uh, boosting around as power-ups spawn again. Gramps is going to pick up one, kill the re-grab, so it's a return for Cap Scenario. Gramps trying to get that return on his own. Poppy just narrowly avoiding it, and uh, Doom McGuy has a tank pro of his own, so he might play some anti here as well, as Eldon looking to give chase to Genesis. Poppy avoiding the return there, and Eldon giving chase. Gets the return. Doom McGuy has the anti, and it's going to be a cap for Murballs. Excellent communication and teamwork from the little Murballs to get the return and get the cap. And now Gramps makes his way past a couple here. Poppy going to boost into base. There are three in, so Eldon able to get that return with the help of Poppy. Dude McGuy with the smart anti. PK Subal with a grab, but Officer Dan able to uh, contain him right away. So uh, another quick grab here. Poppy trying to get a quick grab as well. PK is able to bounce off Genesis, but Genesis is there for the return. And now, power up spawning as Officer Dan's going to pick up that juke juice left. Should be able to run down Poppy here. He does. Gramps going to pick up a rolling bomb from right. This could be clutch for uh, Orza Balls. Uh, Poppy going to play that anti, though. Smart play. And PK will get returned. And now they've got some blocks set up. Three ahead of Hard Gay right now. He's going to have to be patient with this flag. Uh, nice effort on the wall, but nothing doing there. Gramps will use that bomb. Some nice defense from P.K. Subal. Not known for his defensive prowess, I can tell you. Dude McKay trying to make his way around three defenders, but won't be able to do it. Poppy with a nice boost, but Officer Dan will get the return. Setting up P.K. here nicely. Nice, makes a nice move on Genesis, but Officer Dan uses those team tiles to his advantage. Able to get that return, so power of spawning soon here. As Gramps makes a grab, trying to make his way past dude, won't happen. But PK will pick up a rolling bomb from left. That power up for uh, the right side is going to be another rolling bomb. And now PK making his way past two here. Picks up a nice block from Dude McGuy. Eldon just missing the snipe. 
A nice rundown from Genesis as Officer Dan makes his way out of base. And now he has a chance to cap with a nice boost. Eldon couldn't quite get there in time. And Orza Balls are on the board this half. Uh, cutting down that lead. Genesis looking to get around, but a quick bomb will uh, deflect that. And now Eldon has some blocks here. Can she get the double block on uh, Mayonnaise and uh, Hardgay? Doesn't look like it, but Poppy coming in to help. And now Duma guy trying to fit in and he will. <laughs> what a play. <laughs> Oh, PK Sumo adding to the lead with a nice boost of his own. And now Poppy uh, still keeping that regrab train aligned. What a couple incredible plays here from Murballs. Poppy making a nice juke past Hardgate. A nice block from Duma Guy, and Poppy's going to cap. Oh, a 5-1 to one lead this half for the Murballs there. I have no signs of mercy. Picking up a rolling bomb is PK Sumo in the left corner there. Duma Guy getting a return. Don't know if Eldon's going to be able to track down Officer Dan here just yet. Uh, and he will have to use that rolling bomb. The absolute madmen of the Murballs and women. As Eldon tracking down Officer Dan, looking to do the same to Hard Gay, but doesn't look like she'll be able to catch up just quite yet. PK Subal doing some nice job dancing around. Gonna hit off that wall. Genesis can't quite get the return, but Officer Dan will clean it up. And now Genesis is gonna be past three with an opportunity to cap, although a Unfortunate bomb there for Orza Balls. Poppy making a nice split past three now. He's going to go back, probably uh, waiting for the defense to get kind of set up again. Probably a smart move as well, as Officer Dan picks up some nice blocks and a nice move, uh, but will get returned. Now Gramps looking to make his way out of base here. Uh, he has two in front of him. Is PK going to be run down by Genesis there? Power-ups are spawning here. Genesis does a nice job of getting that juke juice while Officer Dan picks up a rolling bomb, so... Possibly looking for a kiss here. Gramps, uh, not anywhere close to it, though. And he'll get returned, but Officer Dan with a, a nice move. He still has three ahead of him, though, and PK just misses that snipe uh, as Dude McGuy makes his way around the base as well. So both teams doing a nice job of holding the flag now. Genesis is able to get the return. PK closing off the exit there for Officer Dan, and now Poppy making his way out. Hardgay gets sniped by Dude McGuy, and a nice move by Poppy almost again on the wall there. Eldon will send uh, Gramps flying. Make the grab herself. Gramps gonna take the kiss there. It's Dude McGuy coming into base. Officer Dan has only one in front of him right now. And he's gonna be run down by PK. Nice contain there by PK. Power-ups are spawning. Gramps going to get that tag pro from the right side as Poppy picks up a rolling left. So, Doom Guy should look to kiss here if he gets the opportunity. But Officer Dan, quite a bit of ways. Oh, dude, Doom Guy trying to get a nub step of his own. Uh, feeling himself a little bit. Officer Dan doing a nice job of holding the flag right now. And Eldon trying to close in. And nice. Another nice move from Officer Dan. Finally gets tracked down by Dude Guy. Pushes back for the return, but uh, Hardgay able to make his way out of base. Has a nice anti-setup, a PK smartly avoiding the return until Genesis able to close in. Now Poppy going to find himself past three. Gramps is past three as well, so both return for cap scenarios here for just a couple seconds. Poppy's not going to be able to get it as uh, Gramps does a good job of staying alive there. Two minutes left to go in this contest. The Murballs have a very comfortable lead, although on such a small map it's not impossible to imagine a comeback here. As Genesis makes his her way, excuse me, past two, Poppy with the flag going to get returned. Now Hardgay headed right. Dude McGuy has a rolling bomb, sees the opportunity for a return of his own, but not going to end up going for it. It's just a split second there, and now Dude McGuy going to potentially, yeah, get returned there from Officer Dan. And a quick return, and uh, Flaccid there will get the return as Orza Ball is able to cut that lead just, a, just by a hair. Now Eldon looking to make her way out of base. Going to be past three. Hard Gacy on that boost. And now some anti there. Oh, that would have been a clutch cap there for Orza Balls. Would have gotten some momentum. Genesis makes a nice move on Eldon. Going to be past two here. And now can he get the splits blocks? Oh, she can't. But uh, Poppy's going to pick up the flag and head out right while Officer Dan goes, uh, weaves around in base. Poppy, oh, what a boost from Poppy. Slips past Gramps, just cutting the edge of that uh, flag tile and gets the cap for the Murballs. Gramps now headed out right. He's only got one to beat. PK with the quick rub grab past three. And now they're not going to play anti, surprisingly. 
but um, not a kiss either. So PK Subal just going to hold on to this flag for hopefully the last 36 seconds. And Genesis trying to make her way out of base. Quick return there. Eldon going to gun down uh, whoever the hell that was. Didn't see who it was. A nice sacrifice. And another nice sacrifice as PK Subal boosts in for the cap. Again, the excellent teamwork from the Murballs. Poppy finding himself past three. They've got the block on hard game, but a bomb and a return and a cap. How about that? What a play. And a big boost block from Poppy, but Genesis there to get the return, and that should end. What an exciting game here for the Murballs. <laughs> Crazy plays all over the place. And that will end the half 8-2. to two. Uh, So, let's see here. Math is hard, folks, so, uh, let's see, how many caps did Orza Balls get here? Two. We have to get the post-game interview with the amazing dude, my guy. Okay, so a final of 14-6 to six here on Jardim as the, whoops, as the Little Murballs take the um, sweep here uh, against the Roland Orza Balls. Uh, very nice performance defensively on uh, the Little Murballs side, but Genesis as well played extremely well for the Orza Balls, so... Props to both teams. Uh, Murball is just able to etch out the win on Transilio with a dominant second half, and then just really rolled to a victory um, after a close first half on Jardim. So thank you all for tuning in. I appreciate it, uh, as always. I hope you enjoyed the stream. Uh, I know the quality is good, but there, I know there's some, some uh, issues with the stopping and starting, a um, little, I guess, freezing spikes. But... Um, definitely try and fix that in the future, but again, I appreciate it for anyone that tuned in, and I hope you enjoyed the stream. You have a wonderful night, and thanks for tuning in.